so many products products in the market and everybody's trying to obviously sell bits and pieces to make money and, and keep their business afloat. Yep. But what are the supplements that you think are vital that you cannot compromise on that you need it for your daily training? Okay, well, the supplements that I uh, recommend, which are the staple supplements, um, protein powder. You don't actually need protein powder if you get enough protein in your diet, but protein, uh, it always helps to have, as it's convenient, it's much easier to have a protein shake rather than cook up some chicken breast after the gym. So protein powders would be the number one. Um, then your multivitamin, creatine, and apart from that, those are the staples that I like to recommend. And then everything else on top of that, like your pre-workouts, um, your fat burners there, or just um, stuff that you can stack on top. But the basics would just be protein powder, multivitamin. Anyone else? What supplements do I take? Um, I take a multivitamin from Controlled Labs. The brand is um, Controlled Labs. The multivitamin is called Orange Triad. Then I also take uh, my protein powder, which is OxyWay from EHP Labs. Um, I take uh, OxyShred and Buzz Pre-Workout, which are both from EHP Labs also. Anyone else? My diet. Uh, my diet changes up from time to time, depends on what my goals are at the time. At the moment, I'm leaning down, so I'm in a calorie deficit. So I base, I calculate all my calories and my macronutrients every single day, my proteins, my carbs, my fats. At the moment, um, because I'm dieting down, I'm in a deficit, so I'm eating less calories than what my body needs and burns on a daily basis. So that's in order for me to burn body fat. Um, but the foods that I consume are just the basics, like chicken, rice, oats, Protein powders, that kind of stuff. Anyone else? Do you have cheat meals? Do I have cheat meals? Uh, on the odd occasion, I'll have a cheat meal. Most of the time, if I go to have a cheat meal, it won't necessarily be a cheat meal because I'll include that meal into my calorie intake. Um, so technically, if you eat a burger or something and it's within your calorie requirements, then it's not technically a cheat meal. So that's what I do most of the time. So if I'm eating a burger or something, it's probably just within my calorie requirements, so it's not actually a cheat meal. But what I do do, um, I have refeed days. Now that's much more beneficial than a cheat meal. When you're dieting um, and in a low calorie diet, your leptin hormone levels decrease. Um, leptin is the main hormone in fat burning, so it's really important to have a refeed day to boost those uh, leptin levels up. So a refeed day, you increase your carbohydrate intake by 100% or more, and that really helps bring your leptin up. For a refeed day, would you go into a surplus? Yep. Um, so, out of the seven day week, I'll normally refeed just once a week. So, for six of those days, I'm in a calorie deficit. And then for that one day, the refeed day, where I increase my carbohydrates, I go into a calorie surplus. So, you're, st you're still um, in a weekly deficit, so you're still going to be losing body fat. Um, you can keep it the same, but what I normally do, I normally decrease my protein and decrease my fat intake for that day, just so I can fit a bit more carbs into my diet for that day, as carbs are the most beneficial for increasing your leptin hormone levels. What's your uh, normal ratio in your, you know, one calorie deficit, your ratio of protein, fat, and carbs? Uh, so my ratio always changes um, from time to time. I always aim for the minimum requirements, which are one gram of protein per pound of your lean body weight, 0 0.4 grams of fat per pound of your lean body weight, and then the rest of my calories um, come from either protein, carbs, or fats. I try to keep um, the majority of my calories from carbs as they're the body's best source of energy, as long as I'm meeting my minimal requirements of my protein and my fat. Anyone else? So on your refeed days, yep. do you increase your training? No, I just keep it the same. The idea for the refeed day is to get the surplus of calories into your body, so you don't really want to go burning any more calories than what you do, otherwise it just defeats the purpose of that refeed day. When you're on a low calorie diet, your body is going to adjust to those low calorie levels. So having a high calorie day with lots of carbs um, will tell your body that you, know, you are getting a bit more calories, so your body's not going to go into that starvation mode. Anyone else? Do I eat my carbs at two times a day? Uh, no, not, not really. I always try to base my carbs um, throughout the day. Um, there's no specific timing. Nutrient timing has uh, no effect 
on body composition. But what I do try to do, I have um, some carbs before I train and also after I train. As it's good to have carbs before you train because they're the best um, source of energy. So I always get some carbs before I train, maybe an hour or two hours before, and then after my workout as well. Yep. How long do you train for? How long do I train for? Uh, depends if I'm bulking or cutting. Um, I normally train for between one and two hours um, with weights, but if I'm cutting, I add in some cardio. So I normally do cardio afterwards. So never normally more than two hours at a time though, and five or six days a week. What's the take on IIFYM? Do you reckon that's a reasonable way to diet? Or? Yep, so IIFYM stands for if it fits your macros, which means, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, you've got your protein, your carbs, and your fats. So technically, you can consume any foods you want as long as you meet um, your protein, carb, and fat intake for your calorie requirements and your goals. Now, anyone who follows a diet where they track your protein, carbs, and fats, whether you eat chicken, rice, and almonds, or you eat McDonald's and pizza, if you're tracking your calories, you're technically following if, if, I, I, if, I, in. So, it's the best way to diet, as long, if you're tracking your calories, you're gonna get the results, regardless of what type of food you consume. Okay, so like, you reckon a calorie is a calorie sort of thing, like, that's really bad where it comes from, what source? Uh, a calorie is a calorie in the sense of energy, because calories are just measuring uh, energy, now, there's four calories per one gram of protein and one gram of carb. Well, one gram of fat is nine calories. So, fat is the highest um, dense calorie. So, the more fat you consume, the higher your diet is going to be in calories, yes. Anyone else? How often do I use creatine? How often do I use creatine? At the moment, I'm not using any creatine, um, but I, I do use it from time to time. I maybe go on it for about three or four months at a time. I first start off loading creatine, so for the first seven days, I take 20 grams of creatine, um, spread out during the day and five grams at a time. That's so you can saturate your muscles with creatine. After the loading phase, then you go to your making dose of just five grams of creatine per day, and I stay in that for maybe three or four months, and then I have a break. The, what's that, sorry? How long's the break? Um, anywhere from a month to two months. The creatine that I use is plain creatine monohydrate, um, and I use the brand EHP Labs, which is Create. Why you take a break? Um, well, you don't actually need to take a break from creatine. Um, studies show that it makes no difference, but I just find it helps. You know, sometimes I like to load on it for a while. It helps with your strength, your you know muscle fatigue, and all that. And then I just have a break from it just for a while. Anyone else? Uh, the timing you take your creatine will not actually have an effect because it's not like a pre-workout where if you take the pre-workout before your workout, you're going to have a good workout. Creatine doesn't work like that. Creatine has to be saturated in your muscle cells. So the idea is to load on creatine for a certain amount of time so your muscle cells are saturated with the creatine. Once they're saturated with the creatine, then you have to take that creatine dose every single day so you've got your creatine in your system. So the timing you take it won't make a difference. Yep. What's the difference between a monohydrate and a HCL? Um, well, they're all, all different types of creatine, but the best um, and the one that's been studied the most is plain creatine monohydrate. That's the one that I use. I don't bother with any other fancy creatines. There's all heaps of different formulas out there, but just creatine monohydrate is the best one to go for. Anyone else with any questions? With your training, um, with your weight training, what do you find um, a good formula like? Do you do supersets or drop sets or pyramids? What, what do you what do you follow? Uh, for my weight training, I follow the same routine um, for about four to six weeks, and then I change my routine up. So my routine is always the same. So I'll do every muscle group once a week. Uh, my abs and my calves are twice a week, but I'll do the same routine. So for chest, I'll do the same exercises. Sometimes I won't do any drop sets or no supersets, just keep everything um, with a decent rest period um, and use heavy weight. And then other times I'll mix things up, just a shock the muscle, or do some drop sets, some supersets. I always like to mix it up, you know, stimulate the muscle in different ways. What do you call oh, hit training? Hit training? 
Uh, HIT is very good. So for those who you don't know what HIT is, HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. Um, it's a type of cardio. Now, there's all different types of cardio. There's HIT, um, there's MISS, and there's LISS. So HIT is High Intensity, MISS is Moderate Intensity Sustained State, and LISS is Low Intensity Sustained State. Now, they're all good. Um, cardio is a good tool to burn calories. Muscle group, and I'll do a small muscle group. So it'll be chest and abs, and then legs and calves, and then back and biceps, something like that. Anyone else got any questions? How long have I been training? Um, well, I joined, you know, mucking around with mates just here and there. Um, in 2010, I got more serious about it. I got more serious about my training, more serious about my diet, started following a proper meal plan, a proper workout program, and that's when I started noticing the results a lot more. Anyone else? Who motivated me? Um, well, there's a lot of people I look up to in the fitness industry. Um, some of them are from uh, the same company that I'm sponsored by, EHP Labs. Guys like Max Philosophia and Ulysses Williams. Um, they're from America. I look up to those guys. I also look up to other people like Arnold. Even though he's past his prime, um, he's still inspirational for me. And same with all the other IFBB pros such as Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman. Even though their physiques are not my goal, it's still inspirational what they do.